What's up people, how are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud Helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And in this video, I am going to show you an iCloud bypass without using a NAND programmer. So if you don't have a NAND programmer, um, this is the video for you, basically. Um, before I get into showing you the bypass without the NAND programmer, I'd like to show you a little bit about the program Magic CFG made by Jan Fabel and Shanzeo, okay? So this version here, Magic CFG, the latest version, is actually, it has features on here that, you know, are really good and really useful. So it's the version 2.1. And what I find interesting with this one is where it's got, for example, fixed FaceTime example. Now, uh, Jan Fabel tweeted about two months ago about this, this program, the latest one that they made, that there's an Easter egg within it somewhere. And someone has got to somehow figure it out. Well, good luck on that, because that's not going to be easy to do. But what I find with the version 2.1 is obviously the FaceTime. Uh, there's a fix there for FaceTime. But they, I'm assuming, in fact, I know that there's going to be a lot more to it than that. Unfortunately... This pro, this version of Magic CFG uh, 2.1 does not have Purple Boot integrated in the program itself, okay? Now, version 2.0 is the version we're going to be using today. And that's the version I'm going to show you of how to do, um, to basically reprogram your iPad and basically, um, yeah, get it up and working, so to speak. I need to state that, you know, this video is for uh, training purposes. So, you know, whatever you do, do so ethically. Okay, I got to be clear on that. So, you know, I find Magic CFG the reloaded version, I find it really interesting, really intriguing. Um, obviously, it's got the option as well as to factory reset the device as well that's integrated in it. And obviously, you know, with with many other issues, like so, for example, fix the JP camera, like it's got an, an eye repair box, you can, you know, they've, they've got similar things to that on there, uh, and fixing Wi-Fi by unbinding the Wi-Fi. Okay, so, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. So, you know, you, the people know about it, basically. Um, so this is version 2.1, but we're going to be using version 2.0. So... And also as well, Purple Pro... You can use that separately to put your device into a, a purple mode. But luckily, with this version of Magic CFG, version 2.0, it's actually got purple integrated in the program itself, which, if you ask me, is a win-win all round. So if you're using devices that are, say, anything from A5 to A9, you are going to need one of these cables here. So it's a DCSD Alex engineering cable, okay? This is what you're going to need to use. If you have an A10 device, you can use your basic lightning cable, and that will put it into purple mode, and that'll do the job if your iPad is A10. Um, or if you're using an iPhone X, for example, because that's A11, because they only cover Checkmate devices, see? So, basically, the first thing to do, so, as you can see, 
I've got an iPad here that is clearly iCloud activation locked, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the, the engineering cable. into the iPad from the computer, right? So you can see it's connected, it's on, right? Now, what you need to do is basically, first thing you wanna do is go on to boot purple mode, right? So, Waiting for device in DFU mode. So let's get into DFU mode. So holding the power button and uh, the home key. Let go of the power button. Keep hold of the home key. And as you can see, the Air 2 is in DFU. Yeah, you might get Finder uh, or iTunes just randomly opening and closing. Don't worry about that. Just close it. So if you're using just the normal lightning cable, as you can see for A10 plus devices, you, you would tick that box. I don't need to tick that box because I am using a DCSD cable. So now it's in DFU mode. Let's go and boot purple. And as you can see, uh, Sometimes, because it's called purple mode, it doesn't mean the screen's going to go purple. It could go blue, it could go green, yellow, orange, red, all different types of colors. But this is actually in purple mode currently, right? Now, the next step is to select minimize here to close the program and then open the program back up, right? And as you can see there, USB serial, that's the port you need to use. If it's not on that, refresh it a couple of times and select it, okay? When you see USB serial there, simply select connect and then select read system configuration. And as you can see, the codes will pop up. So what we need to change is the serial number, the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth MAC address. So be sure to put the caps on. Okay, so that's the serial donor with the Wi Fi address. Bluetooth Mac uh, it's always a different number at the end so where that's eight uh, where that's b3 at the end of the 
uh, Wi-Fi address, the Bluetooth address would be B4. But sometimes you don't just change, the. it's not just the one character, it could be the two characters at the end of the Bluetooth that's different to the Wi-Fi. So make sure about that first, whoever your supplier is, whoever you get your codes from, okay? So basically, uh, so what you want to do is just select right on the serial number, right on the Wi-Fi, and right on the Bluetooth Mac. And now simply reboot iDevice. So now the device is gonna reboot. I'm gonna restore it and I will be right back with you. Well, all right then people. So I've just restored my iPad on Finder. You can use either iTunes Finder or um, you can switch to your Windows computer and use free U tools. It's up to you. So iPad's been restored. Let's go for the setup. Just to show you that it is actually working and that the program does actually work. Let's just put in my Wi-Fi password a minute. Okay, here we go. Ready? Just like that. And this is without a NAND programmer. And yes, it's on Mac as well. Forgot to say, uh, before you change the codes this is important before you change the codes what you want to do okay is basically take a picture of the original code first so after you've booted it uh, after you've booted into um, purple mode yeah what you want to do When the original serial number, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth MAC address comes up with all the rest, take a picture, okay? Take a picture of it. Because the supplier who sends you the code, okay, um, it might be a code where it doesn't work. In, in other words, it would say unable to activate, right? And that you don't want because if you don't know the original Wi-Fi address and the original Bluetooth Mac address, then it'll remain unable to activate. Of course, the serial number, well, that's on the back of the, of the iPad anyway, so you, you don't need to worry about that, see? So it's important that you take a picture of the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth Mac address. So just when it's in purple mode, boot it up, it's all there, connect, read the system configuration, take a picture. Yeah, better to be safe than sorry. I said it in my previous video on my iRepair P10 box. But with this, it's a program where it is a programmer. You know, it, there is a NAND programmer integrated in it. I mean, like I said, okay, if you're using A5 to A9 devices, you need the DCSD Alex engineering cable, which you can get from AliExpress. It's not that much to buy. Um, I don't know, maybe $25 less, maybe. Uh, eBay, could get it on eBay as well. Yeah, yeah, they, oh, they're not dear. They're not dear at all. But like I said, if it's an A10 or an A11 device, you can use your Lightning USB. So it's absolutely great. It's an amazing program um, for Apple as well, you know, uh, for Mac devices as well. Absolutely good work to Jan Fabel and Shenzeo for Magic CFG. I really appreciate your work, guys, I really do. Um, also, whilst I'm at it, I'd like to give a shout out to a few people, uh, a few iCloud developers, uh, programmers, etc. And that is Just A Tech. Yes, I, uh, 
I've subscribed to you on YouTube, my friend. Some very good work you've done. Yuri Tech, top notch, absolutely. Can't ask for better. Uh, FRP file, you're good. You're excellent. You're all excellent. You're all amazing. Um, uh, my iCloud.info, uh, his uh, Twitter account is at iDevice Tool. Very good iCloud developer. Amazing, actually. Also, iGhost as well on, on Twitter. Um, also, iCloud and Locker 725. Yes, I'm, um, I'm subscribed to you as well, and I like some, I like your videos too. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. And the man himself, Apple Tech 752. I'd like to shout out, big, a ma uh, major shout out to all you guys, you know, absolutely all of you for your work, your effort, and everything you've done. Because the people need you, you know, and, you know, it's just absolutely, I can't put it in words, you know, how proud I am of you guys, you know. Um, if your name's obviously not on the list and you're doing this work, well, th this goes for you as well. Just because I haven't said your name doesn't mean, you know, you're not out there doing the right thing for the people. Remember that. Remember that. Um, I've got plenty more content to come. And I have got a lot of content on here already. Which I know will be just up your street. You'll love it. Yes, iCloud related, remote management related, activation issues. Um, uh, update issues with Apple Watches, etc. You know. Um. Any of those up your street, smash that subscribe. Smash like if you like the video. And I'll see you, yeah. You'll hear from me next time. I can tell you that. This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye for now.